Good afternoon, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to learn about the development of a tray which is inclined, an inclined tray having the heights of 20 and 40 mm at the ends. So this is something like this. This is a tray and uh, this is how it looks in the front view. And in the top view, it is seen as a rectangle, inclined rectangle, one for the bottom face, one for the top face. So finally, friends, you are going to get the development in this form. And here, as seen, the development of these two will be identical, whereas that of the left and right pieces, they are totally different because there is a taper. If they were having the same height, either 20 on both the sides or 40 on both the sides, would have got the uh, joint symmetrical about both horizontal and vertical axis. Friends here, let us start this development from one of these corners. So friends, I will call this as A dash B dash. A dash B dash is the front view and the corresponding top view I will represent by A B. Friends here, the front view is A dash B dash. AB is the top view and the none of these are parallel to XY and hence to obtain the true length of this friends I just write an arc that is taking center B dash and radius equal to B dash A dash I am going to strike an arc till here from there I bring it downwards to meet the locus of A at this point friends I call this point as A1. So I am going to join A1 to B to get the length of one of these sides. Similarly friends, on the other end, if you extend it further downward like this, you can have the point here and you can join this here and get the development of one piece on the left side. That is the development of this piece. What I have got here is the actual development. Friends, on the same lines, let us consider this line. So we will call this as C dash D dash. C dash D dash is the print view of this line. And C B, C dash D dash, sorry. And this is C comma D, the top view. Friends, you will see here, C dash D dash and C D, they are inclined and none of these are giving us the true length. Hence, to get the true length of this edge, we are going to make one of these parallel to XY. So, I will take B dash as center, D dash, C dash as radius. I am going to strike an arc. Friend, it is going to meet here. I will bring it down further downwards. So, here, the point where it touches this locus of C, we will call it as C1. So friends, if you are joining this, that is, I have made this horizontal like this. If you join C1 and D, C1 D will give you the true length of this line C dash D dash. So friends, this we will call it C1. Similarly, friends, similar to what we have done here. I am going to extend a line from there downwards till here. It will meet the locus of this point here. Join that. Friends, this piece will give you the development of the second half. That is the bigger part. This is how it is looking. Like a trapezium you have got. Friends, I told you in the beginning of the uh, video that these two will have the same development. Because this is symmetrical about the horizontal axis. Friends, what do we do now? I have this center D, radius D1 is here. Now, friends, I take D as center, DC1 as radius. I just draw an arc here to get it. Before that, friends, we have completed this part and we have completed this part. We need to draw the development of the other part. Friends, you will just see. We have this center, this has the radius, I will draw an arc. So, I will extend this line from here. 
this arc is touching this line and we join these two these two length will have the same radius similarly friends on the other end follow the same procedure i am going to draw an arc like this and join this to this friend so this is some other point so basically we have one piece two piece this is third piece i am going to take b as center b as radius going to strike an arc here friends we will join that to this point so finally if you join this point and this point you will get the development of the larger phase that is this is how it is looking this phase this phase is seen here friends finally follow the same procedure and obtain the last piece here that is extend the line from here and then now with this as center we can write an arc it will meet somewhere here on this line join this finally join these two friends this is the development of the top and bottom half so these two will be exactly identical and these two will have different dimensions but both will have trapezoidal shape after getting this development friends we have to remove this part that is i will show by hash lines this portion has to be removed trim cut off this has to be removed then we are going to remove these two these are these two we are going to remove finally this and if you just cut off this part trim it here trim throw away this part hatch portion you get the actual development as this part because this part is removed from here this part is removed from here and these two portions so hatch are removed and you are going to get the actual sheet cut like this then friends if you fold them if you bring all this together you are going to have a tray which is proportional to the figure i have drawn and the height what i have shown here is 20 is this height and this side you have got 40 and in that top you you are going to get two concentric rectangles in the top view friends I hope the presentation was uh, interesting and if you find it useful, please share the video with all your friends and have a nice day. Thank you very much.